Many people today are experiencing the stress and depression of identity confusion. Am I defined by race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, class, nationality, political affiliation, or religion? Who am I? What is my true nature? Am I merely a product of my upbringing and cultural environment? How can we find our true self from among all the various identities that have been conditioned into us since birth? Rudolf Steiner addresses this fundamental life question in his most important work, The Philosophy of Freedom. What is my true nature? Steiner says the purest expression of human nature is the free spirit. The concept of our true self as a free spirit is developed in the philosophy of freedom. This ideal human is the crown of evolution and is given the name ethical individualist. The idea of ethical individualism is based on a series of principles that can be applied to life. Whatever we want to become in life, whether a philosopher, artist, or scientist, we must undergo training to learn the basic principles and theory of the field. It may seem odd, but it is the same with becoming our true self. There are a series of principles that we must know in order to free our thinking and acting so that it is truly our own. To become your true self is to realize your full human potential. This is why Steiner was able to make the promise that if you follow this path to real freedom, you will attain what you seek to achieve in life and much more. The first step to become your true self is to cultivate the attitude or mood of individualism. You are a unique individual. You have an individual life and you have an individual truth. Cultivate an individualistic attitude in life and in truth. This principle appears in the original chapter one, The Goal of Knowledge. If you are reading a revised edition of the Philosophy of Freedom, this chapter is found in the back of the book as an appendix. The first sentence Steiner writes in the Philosophy of Freedom is about cultivating individuality. I believe I am right in pointing out one of the fundamental characteristics of our age when I say that at the present day, all human interests tend to center in the cultivation of individuality. We live in the age of individualism. The cultivation of individuality is a fundamental characteristic of our age. This opening sentence assures us that the path of development to be presented in the philosophy of freedom is properly suited for our modern age. There are many other paths offered today that are better suited for the collectivist cultures of the Far East or are left over from the spiritual practices and beliefs of our ancestors. There are also many deceptive paths intended to enslave us for the benefit of some person or some group's quest for power. Steiner's path is for us those of us living in our modern, science-minded culture, where each of us are expected to take the responsibility to think and act for themselves. The opening paragraph of The Philosophy of Freedom gives a description of what it means to cultivate an individual life. Here is a list of the characteristic traits of an individualist. An individualist shakes off authority, accepts nothing without individual validation, fully develops one's powers, blazes one's own trail up the mountain, allows no ideals to be forced upon him, sees in each person something worth developing, refuses to conform to norms, considers the perfection of the whole 
as depending on the unique perfection of each, contributes to the world something unique that he alone can offer, demands the right to free expression, expresses an intense striving for freedom, and does not want to be a dependent in any way. These characteristics express the individualistic attitude of one on the path to their true self. You will also find those on this path respecting the right to individuality of others. It is also important to cultivate individual truth. Truth, too, will be sought in our age only in the depths of human nature. Another feature of our age is to seek truth that is confirmed by the heart within. This is what I mean by individual truth. An individualist seeks the truth that springs from the clarity of their own inner knowing. This first chapter makes a distinction between two paths to truth. The truth that comes from the outside and the truth that appears inwardly in each individual. We live in an information age where we are bombarded with news, facts, surveys, expert reports, academic papers, and so on. This is outer truth. Being overwhelmed by these outer truths fills us with uncertainty and doubts. They weaken us. Inner truth is when we make something our own. We understand it and integrate it into the rest of our knowledge, sometimes in a sudden moment of insight. It is inner truth that we want to pay attention to and cultivate. The reason we want to cultivate inner truth is because of the empowering impact it has on us. Inner truth brings us the conviction of certainty, while outer truth weakens us with doubts. We are only convinced by what appears to each of us inwardly as truth. Whoever is tormented by doubts finds his powers weakened. If baffled by a world full of riddles, he can find no goal for his creative activity. We all know the difference it makes when we take on a task filled with conviction and certainty about why and what we are doing, compared to when we are confused or mystified about a situation. When we are confused, we cannot decide what to do. This makes us weak. We make decisions we later regret, and we can be easily manipulated by others. It is the same when we merely follow the orders of another. When we clearly understand something, we experience it in the depths of our inner core. This gives us confidence. When we have verified the facts with our own experience, we can build our knowledge on those facts. The conviction that comes with inner truth gives us the clarity and confidence to set specific goals that we will passionately work toward achieving. The first step on the path to become your true self and reach your potential is to cultivate an attitude of individuality in life and in truth. In life, we intensely strive for our rights to individuality and free expression. In truth, we stand up, speak out, and take action for what we know in our heart is the truth.